हेलो एवरीवन कैसा आप लोग देखिए अ फैक्ट चेक यूनिट दैट इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल तो ऐसा क्या चीज हो गया भाई जो अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है कौन सा फैक्ट चेक करना है तो चलिए देखते हैं द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु इशूड एन ऑर्डर रिसेंटली टू सेटअप अ फैक्ट चेक यूनिट तो यहां पे एक फैक्ट चेक यूनिट बनना है विद द इंटेंट ऑफ चेकिंग अक्रॉस ऑल द मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु This government order GEO is violated is violative of several fundamental rights guaranteed by Constitution of India and is unconstitutionally vague and arbitrary. Earlier this year the government of India had amended the Information Technology Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code 2021 to set up fact check unit in order to identify fake false or misleading information in respect of any business of the central government these rules were challenged before the bombay high court and the judgment is expected to be delivered on december 1 the government of india gave an undertaking to the high court that the fact check unit will not be notified until the judgment even though the geo has a passing geo cap a government order even the government order has a passing reference to these pro, pro, provisions of the it rules it does it does not disclose the undertaking given by the government of india to the bombay high court ab dekhiye scope of tamil nadu unit kya hai theek hai the operative part of the geo government order issued by the government of tamil nadu says that the fact check unit will check the veracity of information related to the announcements policies schemes guidelines and initiatives of the government of tamil nadu and annexure 3 of the government order has more detail of the unit's functioning the fact check unit has been given powers to take su moto cognizance of social media post article that require fact checking needless to say it can also act on companies received by them from anyone identified companies are then research using various fact check tools and verified through government sources such as websites press releases and government social media accounts the information will then split into इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम दाइज सोर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट द फैक्ट चेक यूनिट विल डिसमिनेट क्रिटिकल कंटेंट थ्रू इट सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस वायोलेशन ऑफ सेटल्ड principle kya hai this part of government order violates several settled principle of law there is no doubt that it creates the chilling effect of freedom of speech and expression a fundamental right guaranteed under article 19 clause 1 sub clause a of the constitution this can only be reasonably restricted under article 19 clause 2 in the interest of sovereignty and integrity of india security of state friendly relation with foreign state public order decency or morality or in relation to contempt of court defamation or incitement to an offence more importantly such restriction under article 19 clause 2 can only be by way of a law which as held by supreme court of india must be legislation passed by the state thus it is settled that the government order cannot impose restriction on the freedom of speech and expression it is also pertinent to note that the public interest is not a grounds under article 19.2 to restrict the freedom of speech and expression so aap dekhiye government order kisi cheez ko restrict nahi kar sakta restrict kar sakta hai to wo ye sare aapke uh, restriction ke yahan pe clause diye hue hai reasonable restriction diye hue hai uh, article 19 sub clause 2 mein aur ye government order nahi kar sakta kiya ja sakta hai to law ke through kiya ja sakta hai और दूसरी बात पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट ये जो रीजनेबल रिस्ट्रिक्शन इसमें दिया है इसमें पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट तो वैसे भी नहीं है तो ये सारे फंडामेंटल राइट्स हैं जो आपके जो गवर्नमेंट ऑर्डर है आपका वो वायलेट कर रहा है द फैक्ट चेक यूनिट हैज बीन टास्क विद चेकिंग द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ एनी इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु नाउ द फ्रेज इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु हैज नॉट बीन डिफाइंड इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑर्डर देयर बाय मेकिंग इट अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली वेग एंड आर्बिट्ररी वुड एंड opinion authored by the economist criticizing economic social policies of the government or in legislative article by a journalist 
fall under the lens of the fact check unit this ambiguity will have a chilling effect on the freedom of speech and expression of indian citizen this will effectively choke the flow of information to the people which goes against the principle of participative democracy the government order riddle with other legal uh, legality legalities legalities kya ho jata hai kabhi kabhi bol nahi nahi aata hai the scheme of the government order does not provide for an opportunity of hearing of the author of the post who can be journalist researcher comedian starcist or member of opposition political party thus the government has become the judge jury and executioner of the authenticity of any information related to government to bhai sara cheez judge bhi ban gaye jury bhi ban gaye tumhe punishment mein de rahe ho tumhi law bana rahe ho to government sara kaam to nahi kar sakta na aapka separation of power kidhar gaya separation of power ek india ke democracy ka bahut main aspect hai kidhar gaya sab cheez government agar karegi to baaki log kya karenge kuch nahi karenge a challenge that all demo, uh, democracies face kya hai paragraph of the government or states that the emergence of social media and its related issue of mis or disinformation fake news and hate speeches have necessitated the creation of the fact check unit by the state government this is only partly true because the speech has not direct nexus with information related to government of tamil nadu which is the focus of the fact check unit indeed mis or disinformation and fact check Uh, fake news are a challenge for democracy throughout the world to yahi misinformation disinformation fake news hate speech yahi aapke sare democracies ke challenge hain this was the most evident during the us presidential election of 2016 the brexit ref- referendum and the colombian referendum of 2016 the situation is no different in india when politician and tv anchors peddle mis mis or disinformation with no remorse However the government order issued by the government of Tamil Nadu is not a solution to curb mis or disinformation and fake news Cons- uh, consultations need to be held with all stakeholder including the public and intermediary such as Facebook X or yani Twitter Google for instance in Europe the European Commission issued the code of practice of disinformation on September 26 2018 after a Uh, after a broad consultative process an opinion poll covering all member states this measure includes support for an independent network of fact check and promoting media literacy there is no magic wand here but the state run fact check unit will also cause more harm to society yahan pe aap dekhiye ab ek bar iski summary hum log dekh lete hain kya kya important ho jata hai hamare liye sabse pehle सबसे पहले स्टेट रन फैक्ट चेक यूनिट किस लिए मिस और डिस इंफॉर्मेशन ठीक है फेक न्यूज प्लस हेट स्पीच ये क्या है आपका चैलेंजेस भी है challenges to democracy all over the world theek hai second aap dekhiye ye pehli baat to state run nahi hona chahiye ye aapka hona chahiye center theek hai central body honi chahiye nahi to state wale to aur ghapla karenge third aap dekhiye article 19 theek hai ab isme aap article 19 ka 1 le lijiye aur article 19 ka रीजनेबल रिस्ट्रिक्शन ठीक है अब रीजनेबल रिस्ट्रिक्शन देखिए कैसे दिया गया है फ्रेंडली रिलेशन विद फॉरन स्टेट पब्लिक ऑर्डर डिसेंसी मोरलिटी अब इस रीजनल रीजनेबल रिस्ट्रिक्शन में आपका पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट कोई भी ऐसा वर्ड नहीं है और ये रीजनेबल रिस्ट्रिक्शन कौन करेगा कोर्ट करेगा ठीक है एक स्टेट नहीं कर सकती ये सारी चीजें कोर्ट की चीजें होगी तो पहली एक आर्टिकल नाइनटीन क्लॉज वन सब क्लॉज ए और आर्टिकल नाइनटीन क्लॉज टू हमारे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है फोर्थ 
सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर क्या सारा काम गवर्नमेंट करेगी जज जूरी एग्जीक्यूशनर ऑथेंटिसिटी सब फाइंड करना सब कुछ गवर्नमेंट का काम है बाकी लोग क्या करेंगे ये एक पिलर है हमारे डेमोक्रेसी की तो ये हमारे लिए इम्पोर्टेंट चीज हो जाता है तो बस इस आर्टिकल में हमारे लिए इतनी चीज इम्पोर्टेंट थी और जो यूरोपियन यूनियन ने पास किया था आपका लॉ वो एक हमारे लिए मतलब कह सकते हैं लाइट हो सकता है ठीक है लाइट हाउस की तरह काम करे वैसा लॉ कि हम देख के उनसे सीखे और इंडिया में भी वैसा ही एक लॉ लाए जिससे ये सारी प्रॉब्लम जो है मिस इन्फॉर्मेशन डिस इन्फॉर्मेशन फेक न्यूज हेट स्पीचेस इसको हम लोग इंडिया में अवॉइड कर पाए कोई अगर अच्छा कर रहा है तो उसको बुरा उसका देख कर अपना बुरा हटा कर उससे सीखने की कोशिश करनी चाहिए ये नहीं कि हम तो अच्छे हैं ही ऐसा हर बार नहीं होता है अगर कोई कुछ सिखा रहा है तो हमें सीख लेना चाहिए तो थैंक यू गाइस प्लीज वर्क हार्ड टू अचीव ऑल योर ड्रीम्स थैंक यू